welcome to the channel of Ecoholics. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss a very important topic known as p-values in the hypothesis testing. So p-value is one very important indicator when we have to decide whether to reject null or whether to not reject null. But it is a very confusing topic for some of us. Why? Because we cannot understand the exact interpretation of p-value. So if you continue to watch this video till end, I can assure you that you will understand the concept of p-values and you will never forget this in your life. Because we cannot move without p-values or without hypothesis testing when we are studying economics. So let's get to the video. All right. So what is p-value? p-value is the probability of obtaining a value of the test statistic at least as contradictory to H0 as the value calculated from the available sample. Now you will again think this is such a complicated definition. How we are going to remember this? But let me tell you, I will break this into parts and I will help you to understand it better. One very important thing, when we are talking about the p-value in this respect, we have to assume that H0 is true. Just like we assume that null is true, the same way. So what, what it is actually say? So all right. So if let's say I say, I tell you that if, if I calculate my test statistic, which comes out to be 3.06, right? So I calculated my test statistic, uh, like for my mean, let's say, like in this manner, Correct. So I calculated this and it came out to be 3.06. Now what I'm doing is this 3.06 is greater than Z critical value. So I decided to reject my null hypothesis because this, this Z value is lying in the rejection region. So I started my hypothesis with the belief that the given null is true. But when I calculated my test statistic, I came to know that this lies in the rejection region. So I'm going to reject it. So now if I'm rejecting 3.06 and I'm saying it is greater than critical, if I take Z equals to 3.1 or when I take Z equals to 3.5, I will also be rejecting all these values because they will also be greater than critical value. So P value is nothing. P value is just the probability of getting all such values which will lead you to the rejection of null hypothesis just like the test statistic you have calculated from your H0. So as you can read here, it's the probability of obtaining a value of the test statistic at least as contradictory to H0 as the value calculated from the available sample. So from my available sample, I have calculated this value. From my available sample, I have calculated this value. Now, I want to get the probability of obtaining the values that are at least as contradictory to the value I have got from my sample. Because they are also contradictory to H0. They are also leading to the rejection of H0. So these are contradictory just like 3.06. So p-value is that probability. I hope after understanding this one definition, you are little clear about the p-value, right? So it provides the measure of strength of evidence in the data against H0. So p-value tells you that how much evidence you have against H0 in your sample. Note, a very important thing to have attention here. P-value is not the probability that H0 is true nor an error probability. So many times I have seen people telling me that P-value is the probability that H0 is not true or P-value is the probability that it is true or maybe they, they relate it to alpha and beta, the type 1 and the type 2 errors. But be aware, p-value is neither of them. P-value, as you have understood here, it is different. It is totally different from those 
concepts over here. All right. After this, so if p value is equal to 0.25, what does it mean? It implies that 25 percent of all possible test statistic values are at least as contradictory to H naught as the one that came out of our sample. So if out of my sample, I have calculated a test statistic Z, which is greater than Z critical, which leads to rejection of H naught. So I have 25% chances of getting a value which will be as contradictory just like this z like they will also be greater than this z critical value over here we will learn that how do we make the decision on the basis of just p value that should we reject or do not reject the smaller the p value more evidence there is in the sample data against h naught when i tell this if i'm teaching the first cross question which comes to me is p-value is telling us the evidence against H0. So smaller p-value means smaller evidence. So why are we rejecting it? But if you understood the definition clearly, p-value was the probability of getting the test statistic which is going to lead to the rejection of H0. So what does it mean? So for this, we will go to the concept of confidence intervals or like this. So in confidence intervals, what do we say? If we try to increase the level of confidence, what happens? The interval becomes more wide. So let's have a look here. So if this is my distribution, right? Now, this is my uh, do not rejection area. And this is my rejection area. According to this, all the values which are lying here gives me my p-value. So greater the rejection is, greater should be your p-value. But what sometimes we can do for manipulation is, I can increase the level of confidence. I can increase the level of confidence. So that this becomes my acceptance region and these become my rejection region. So my p-value is going smaller. Now why this is the evidence? Because what we do to lead for the acceptance of null is we increase the level of confidence. So as soon as the rejection region goes very small or in other words p-value goes very small, it is an indication that your interval of acceptance is very wide ultimately it should be here instead it should be here but just to increase the acceptance region i have stretched it towards the right and left both of sides so it's a manipulation because this thing even though i have increased my confidence level but this thing also should lie in the rejection region. That is why the smaller the p-value is, more evidence there is in the sample data against H0. Because the smaller the p-value is, it tells me that the confidence is very wide and this is a manipulation. So it means the H0 is not correct because just for accepting it, I have done all that manipulation. Therefore, H0 should be rejected in favor of alternative when p-value is sufficiently small. So, how do we decide that this p-value is small, this is greater? So, whenever p-value is even smaller than the level of confidence, the uh, over here this is alpha is the significance level, which means level of confidence is 1 minus alpha in hypothesis. So the remaining, the rejection region, or we also call it significance level. So whenever the p-value is smaller or even equal to that, you reject H0. But whenever the p-value is greater than that significance level, you do not reject. So it means if this was the alpha, this area. Okay, I draw it more neatly.
सो लेट अस से दिस इज अल्फा नाउ इफ पी वैल्यू इज इवन स्मॉलर देन दिस बिकॉज अल्फा इज व्हाट इट इज सम एरिया ना इट्स सम एरिया सो लेट अस से पी वैल्यू इज दिस थिंग इट मींस द एच नॉट इज नॉट करेक्ट एंड इट गिव्स मी एविडेंस अगेंस्ट एच नॉट बिकॉज पी इज स्मॉलर देन अल्फा बट इफ पी इज दिस ग्रेटर देन अल्फा it means h not does not have any problem so whenever p is less than alpha i reject whenever p is greater than alpha i do not reject so let me present you in a more proper way so this general rule i have written here so let us say this is p value so if alpha is going to lie here if alpha so this uh, this vertical line shows me that i have my p value here if alpha lies here it means alpha is smaller than p so p is greater it means i, I will not reject h not but if alpha lies after the p value so it means p is smaller than or equal to alpha in that case i will always reject h not when alpha is going to lie here so this was the breakdown of a important and confusing concept of p value i hope you will find this video useful please like it please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel also you can let us know in the comment section if you want any other videos on such topics from our side thank you everyone for watching